Ooh, I know I'm going to catch flack for this. Mm. And I just don't care because you're blind if you can't see the powers that be are pitting citizens against citizen. But allow me to unmask something. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. Do you remember when folks cheered Costco for forcing people to wear masks? Well, guess what? It goes both ways. People are now cheering a business's freedom to not require them as well. In places, even California, they're saying plain as day, if you're wearing a mask, do not come in. And while I applaud flexing freedom, things are turning into a perfect recipe for divide and conquer, a real wet dream for those running things behind the scenes. Make no mistake, imposing tyranny on people in the name of safety is no solution. There is no safety without civil liberties. It's a warped obsession with despotism that's killing us, not just the coronavirus. You know, it's irksome, and you've got to wonder to what extent allowing oppression to spread thanks to the actions of citizens insisting on being controlled will bear fruit. Controlled on both sides, even. You have a right not to get sick, so put on your hazmat suit, stay inside, social distance, but you do not have a right to foist others into actions they would never take on their own. So let's stop making a mountain out of a molehill. If you don't like freedom, there's other countries for you. Allow yourselves to be cultivated into the perfect brainless slave if you want, but shame on those who are trying to take others with them. And if you do like your freedom, use it wisely, not in a way that promotes the interests of the secretive cabal, but in a way that tears them down. Mask, no mask, the choice should be yours. If you have the inclination for conflict, use it, but not to fight each other. They wouldn't be getting away with this if we got together in the same way we're getting together to duke it out with each other. Just remember that. Anyway, let's get into the meat and potatoes.